بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربش رالی سودری و یسر علی عمری واہل العدتم ملسانی یق قولی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو اسلامیات کلاس ان پاکستان اسکول مسقط اینڈ آئی ایم یور ٹیچر مس شازیہ سفت ڈیئر چلڈرن ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی یونٹ نمبر ٹوینٹی ون سیلا اینڈ اٹس کنڈیشنز اینڈ اٹس پیج نمبر سکسٹی ٹو ان دس لیسن یو ول بی ایبل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا کنڈیشنز آف سیلا دا فرسٹ کنڈیشن وی ہیو آلریڈی اسٹڈیڈ ان دا پریویس کلاس اینڈ ناؤ دا تہارا دا سیکنڈ کنڈیشن اٹ مینس پیورٹی یو ہیو لرنڈ ارلیئر دیٹ کلیلینس از اے پارٹ آف فیتھ A Muslim keeps himself free from things considered najas by Islam. Purity from najasati is one of the basic conditions for offering salah. To be able to perform salah, one's body, clothes and the place where one wants to pray must be clean and free from all impurities. The third condition is covering the parts of the body. Before offering salah, you should see that You are properly dressed. For men, the dress should be such that at least it covers their bodies from the navel to the knees. The case of the girls and the women is different. Except for their hands and faces, they are required to cover their whole bodies and hair of the head. Dresses should be thick enough to cover the body well. Clothes showing parts of the body should be avoided. Our Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, has said that after a girl comes of age, nothing of her should be seen except her face and hands. Number four, Vadu. Before offering Salah, one should perform Vadu. Salah cannot be offered without Vadu. It is a sin. Facing the Qibla. The Qibla points to the direction where the Kaaba is. The direction of the Kaaba is clearly shown in every masjid by the Mehrab. It is highly rewarding to offer Salah in a masjid, but if you offer it at home, it is necessary that you should know the direction of the Qibla. If you do not know, you may ask your parents to help you. The sixth condition, time. Each of the Salat must be offered on prescribed time or during its proper time. None of the five daily Salah can be offered before its time. Salah is one of the most important pillars of Islam. Offering Salah regularly deepens our faith, but Salah is controlled by certain conditions. You should remember them. No one should perform Salah without fulfilling these conditions. And now the key points. To be able to perform Salah, one's body, clothes and the place where one wants to pray must be clean and free from all impurities. Before offering Salah, you should see that you are properly dressed. Before offering Salah, one must perform Vadu. It is necessary that you know the direction of the Qibla and face it while offering Salah. Each of the Salat must be offered on prescribed time or during its proper time. No one should perform Salah without fulfilling these conditions. And now children, question and answers. Question number five, what conditions control the act of Salah? Answer, the conditions that control the act of Salah are number one, the Niya, the intention. Number two, the tahara, purity of the body, clothes and the place. Number three, covering the parts of the body. Four, vadu. Five, facing the qibla. And six, performing it on the prescribed time. The next question is, question number six, match the column. In this question, you will match the words of column A, with the words of column B. Column A first, K 
Qibla, the Niya, the Tahara, dresses should be 5. Urine and stool and number 6. Sala deepens R. Column B. A. Faith. B. Direction of Kaaba. C. Thick. D. Purity. E. The intention. And F. Nudges. Answer key is also given below for your help. Thank you children for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz.